Dude, these computers are huge! Oh wait, no they're not! This CES special of Hack 5 is brought to you by Domain.com. Got a great idea? It all starts with a great domain. Domain.com. For Hack 5, I'm Darren Kitchen here at CES 2011 with XI3 checking out modular computing. How are you, Aaron? I'm good. How are you? Doing well. Now, this is a really, really small... What, what is the form factor here? What is this? Because this is not ATX. This is not ATX. It's an x86-based form factor, but it's called XI3. So, a whole new form factor. This is our first product that we're kind of releasing to the public. Uh, it's been under development for the last eight years. Uh, patent issued, six issued patents in the United States and also around the world. So, so is that a standard form factor? It's a standard form factor that uh, will allow people to participate in, you know, building what we call uh, backplanes. Uh, the, so, the, so your entire motherboard just goes in a kind of a, a U-shaped here? Yeah, so it's a, it's a three-board motherboard, if you will. Uh, we, we house the processor and memory on one card. Uh, power supplies and uh, kind of video options on one, another card, and then all your I.O. connectivity on a, on a separate card. Okay, so I'm curious about how much power you can actually fit in a machine this small. Yeah, well, what's the CPU? Well, most people think it's a thin client or something of that nature, but it's a full-blown desktop, uh, 2 gigahertz dual-core proc uh, with uh, 2 to 4 gigs of RAM. Uh, so it's not an Atom chip? No Atom chip. It's a, it's a dual-core AMD uh, processor. Okay, so you've got ATI graphics in there? It's got a separate graphics card with si separate side port memory. And so it does very well uh, dual high-definition 1080p monitors. Uh, does does really good on the graphics side as well. And it all runs at about 20 watts of power. Now, that in itself is really interesting, but the way that you guys are selling these I find fascinating. This is just one of the components. Can you tell me about the, the other three units that come with this? So, yeah, you can buy uh, up to three additional units with this that give you three additional uh, computers. Uh, very small units that we call the Zero, um, kind of like a Zero client, if you will. They connect USB to this device and give you three additional computers um, at about one watt apiece. So very low energy consumption. They share out the processor and memory and uh, the operating system as well. So there's not, so they're just a embedded chip inside of those? Yeah, they're very small little ARM processors that just basically give you the keyboard and mouse commands and the, and the video commands so you can tap in, kind of like a, a RDP session, uh, remotely accessing a desktop. And how are they powered and how do they communicate with the network? Because I noticed they don't have Ethernet. Uh, they communicate through the Ethernet of the modular computer. So they, they, you can surf the web just as if you're on, on this device, but you're on a separate device. And it actually helps drive the cost of the device down as well. So you're sitting at about $350 per station instead of the, just one station, which would be $850. So you plug three of the, uh, of the zero units in via USB. The USB powers it in addition to communicating the information? Correct. So they only use about a watt of energy to function. So they're powered over the USB, and all the connectivity and commands are, are, are kind of done over Now, the are you limited to just three on each of these, or could I plug a USB hub and add more zero clients? Technically, you could. Um, you start to lose some performance. But we're uh, working on some newer uh, backplanes, if you will. So we'll come out with uh, some backplanes that will allow you to, to uh, expand that to more zeros right, on each box. These are just USB 2 right now? These are USB 2.0, but that's kind of the beauty of the design. It's modular in nature, so when new technologies come out, such as USB 3.0, we'll sell you a very inexpensive card that you pop into your computer, and uh, now you're upgraded. You don't have to buy a new computer. Now, tell me about the RDP sessions. Is that using Microsoft's RDP? Are these terminal services it's clients separate, proper? It's a separate software. Okay, and is this some software you've developed in-house? or? Uh, it's a partner. We developed with the partner. So. Okay, and is it just for Windows? Uh, I believe right now that it's it's all Windows-based operating systems. Um, Your buddy was telling me about uh, some Linux options here. Are there Linux options now or in the future? Uh, for the zeros or just for the modular computer? Just for the uh, well, for the whole package. For the modular computer, there are you can load any version of Linux, Unix on the device. There's an, an internal USB drive where you can load your Linux uh, operating system uh, internally, and then you can obviously. Uh, uh, loaded on external drives as well. All right, so what are the pricing options? Do you just buy one and then a la carte, or do they come in a kit? Yeah, so we, we pre-configure it basically right now. So um, we uh, 849 is the MSRP of the, the current configuration. Um, if you couple it with the, the zero modules, you get your price down to about $350 a seat um, per user, basically. And the processors in here, you've got a uh, AMD, a, a dual-core, 2 gigahertz chip. What other processor options? 
Uh, we have some lower end processors, uh, still AMD processors, one running about one gigahertz and eight watts of power, and uh, an additional one that's at about uh, 35 watts, 2.2 uh, gigahertz. So 35 watts on the high end, eight watts on the low end, and then each additional uh, zero unit is only taking what? An additional watt. An additional single watt. Single watt. So you could run this off of what? Car you battery? Run, oh yeah, car battery, solar panel to a car battery. Uh, very good for remote location applications, things, things like that. Land parties everywhere. What people need to understand too is it's a, it's a, uh, yeah, Except not, land not party. no, but no 3D, you know, 3D yeah. graphics for all the clients on the showroom. Well, we got something coming on that. You got something coming yeah. on that? Awesome. We'll Stay be here tuned. next year to find out about that. <laughs> yeah. Great. Thank you so much. It's yeah, been a no pleasure problem. talking with you, Aaron. No problem. Thank you. For more continued coverage of CES 2011, be sure to check out revision3.com/ces. Running your own server doesn't have to cost a fortune. Domain.com virtual private servers start at just $34.95 a month and include all of the tools that you need to manage any size website. In fact, our own site hack5.org is running on one now. Take charge with cPanel, Plesk, or even SSHN with root access. As a Hack5 viewer, you can get 15% off your order at checkout when you use coupon code HAK5. Got a great idea? It all starts with a great domain, domain.com.